Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, June 16, 2014. Let me set my iPad down. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday vlogger. Be happy Father's Day to all you guys out, out there who are fathers. Yesterday was Father's Day. Today is the day after Father's Day. So anyway, today's topic, uh, this ought to be kind of a fun one. It has to do with your mental game and your weight range. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you, and then I'm going to kind of preface this because uh, it kind of sort of doesn't apply to me, so I'm going to make it apply to me, and, and I'll explain here in just a second. It goes like this. It says, what mental shift occurs for you between living at the top of your goal weight range and the bottom? How are you living differently day in and day out at opposite ends of your weight range, of your range spectrum? Are the mental, physical, daily action plans that much different? How, why? Basically share a bit of what you notice about yourself when your weight fluctuates. So, not at my goal range, uh, and, and I'm still working on that, and we've talked about this before, but what I am gonna talk about a little bit today is what happens to me physically and mentally and emotionally when I'm kind of at the top of my game and when I'm not. You know, when, when I step on the scale on Monday and the weight is down, it usually means that everything's going right, or at least it did last week. It feels really good to see that what I'm doing um, actually has some results. And, you know, it, it, it makes me feel really good. It makes me feel confident in what I'm doing. It makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing. And when I step on the scale and it's kind of even, or maybe it's just plus or minus, maybe a tenth of a point or something like that, you know, I kind of, I start to doubt myself a little bit, you know. And it's not even that I doubt myself. I just, that's when I start the analyzing phase. I'm like, oh, crap, what did I do this week that wasn't right? Did I not go to CrossFit? Did I didn't work out as hard as I should have? Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have gone out and had a couple of drinks on Thursday night with my friends. I mean, in my head, I'm doing, I'm doing that. I'm playing this game. And that's when I start to play this game. If I don't see that loss, I start to go, well, something went wrong because, you know, I, I think I've mentioned this before on Proof. I know I've talked about it on Facebook, and I know I've talked about it on my own personal channel. You know, if you sit there and you 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 take a, a, a week by week by week analysis of your journey, and you sit there and you look at the good weeks and you look at the bad weeks, the good weeks you're going to lose weight, and the bad weeks you're not, or you're going to stay the same. And, and it's a combination of mental, physical, and emotional. You know, it, it's in it's. To an extent, it, it, it is something that we can control. I almost said that it's not, but it really is something that we can control. The result we can't control, but but what we put in, we can control. So in in, in a way, we can control it. Um, I think that uh, me personally, you know, if, if, if I hit my fitness goals for the week and I hit my nutritional goals for the week and then I step on the scale on Monday and, and I see that, that I did lose weight, I feel really good. And, and it makes me want to do it again. It's kind of fuel for the fire, you know, and... And the thing, the hard part is when everything doesn't go right. When you step on the scale and you didn't lose weight this week, and you're like, ah, crap. Well, what, 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 uh, what have I got to do to to get this back on the downside next week? You know, it's it's um, at that point, it's all right. What are we gonna do? We gotta, we gotta. It's it's problem solving time. You know, it's 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 time to to kick it into gear because uh, I, you know, I I just I don't I don't like. I don't like uh, I don't like to fall. I don't use the word fail. You guys know that. Um, I don't like to fall. I don't like to, to do poorly. I don't like to not meet my goals. So when when my goals aren't met, it's 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 business time. You know, um, you know that's 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 really it for me. You know, I kind of see where we were going with the topic this week, and and um, it's kind of hard for me to talk on it. But I can imagine that you know when you're feeling comfortable. Um, with what you're doing and that's when we really have to focus because that's when we can slip up that's when we start to get comfortable and we start to go ah eh, you know I'm at the bottom of my weight range I don't really have to to go to the gym today or man I can have that that ice cream if I want it um, you know that's when we start to make mistakes and I think that that's that's when we really have to pay attention to what we're doing. You know, it's kind of like that in the restaurant business too. You know, when when it's slow, that's when people tend to make the most mistakes because they get lax and they get comfortable and we're not busy and we're just kind of going through the motions and doing what we just normally do and we don't really pay attention to what we're doing and that's when we slip. That's when we make mistakes. So, you know, when we're doing well, that's when we have to pay the most attention. Um, and when we're not doing so well, I think we kind of automatically pay attention. So I maybe maybe pay attention isn't isn't the thing that I probably should have used. Maybe focus really really hard to make sure that we stay on track is, is the word that we need to, that, that I probably should have used. So anyway, I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, kind of hard for me to talk on that talk on that topic, but anyway. Have a great week, guys. Make sure you thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Come back and see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video. Come back and see me on Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Have a wonderful week, guys, and take care. Bye.